Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World here in Egypt. The coronavirus pandemic. I'm not going to talk about that, but I'm going to talk about what's behind that, what's in front of it, what's around us, what's going through us. You see, just recently, I received a notice that Egypt is going in lockdown, having a curfew at 7 o'clock p.m. And then on the weekends, Friday and Saturday here, guess what, 24 hour lockdown. What does that mean? Nobody could lock you down unless you go to prison. We are not in prison, we did not go to jail. We did not do anything wrong. Coronavirus, look around you. The schools, the businesses, the corporations, closing down, the airports, the immigration place where I tried to go today to extend my visa, shut down. Who's controlling this? Who's in control of us? Guess what? No one is in control of us. We are only controlled if we allow it because we're standing in fear. People go to battle, into war, for land, freedom, or justice, and many other things. And we're afraid to walk outside of our door. We could go to work all day, but God forbid, you go and enjoy your day after work, or you enjoy your weekend outside, but you could go to work. Think about it, people. Wake up. Move inside your heart. Ask yourself what is truth. Why do you think all the questions are going off in our minds? Those questions are in alignment with truth and light and source. There's a reason why those questions are being planted inside the mind and the body and the hearts. We need to wake up and we need to move forward. Working together as one global force. The people against them. Who is them? We could say the governments. The presidents, some of them are on the good side, some of them are on the dark side, we could say. How about the word, the Illuminati? That's right, Illuminati. The people with the billions and trillions of dollars who run the news programs, who run the internet, who feed us the information, and everybody just eats it up and believes it as truth. These people are not of the light. They do not have good intentions for mankind and human beings. You know that's inside your heart. You know that is truth. We're on the verge of tipping the scale either to the dark, moving forward in this world, or to the light. But it's up to us to stand together as one global force and fight back here. Fight this battle together. Go outside. Do not allow them to control you because you are in fear. Take off the mask and take off the gloves. You will be okay. Runny nose, sore throat, cough. Really, really. I'm calling their bluff. That's right, I'm calling their bluff. It's interesting because I tried to upload a video just like this several times, 10, maybe 12. It didn't upload. Hmm, I wonder what's going on. I don't know. I've been uploading many videos around the world, but I can't upload this one. I gotta keep it short and sweet. Hopefully I can upload this one. Let's fight together. Let's move forward in the light. But we have to work together from country to country. We have to go outside when they say to stay in. Lockdown, silliness and nonsense. You could go out to work, but you must come home at a certain curfew. I will be walking outside after curfew over the weekend and see what happens. You cannot stop us, but we must do this together. Working together to make this world better, as I always say. The people are the darker forces controlling us right now because we are in fear. They're realizing how much they power they have over us. How much we listen to whatever they say. Truth or lies. Moving us like little pawns on a chessboard. Because we believe it. We eat it up. But yet we see nobody sick and dying around us. And even if they are, which I don't believe they are actually, I really don't. In my heart space, I just, this doesn't align with me. We still must not live in fear, people. We must not live in fear. That's spreading like a virus, bigger than the coronavirus. We need to be outside getting the vitamin D, getting the fresh air, taking your shoes off and walking through the grass, connecting in with source, the divine, the nature, each other. They wanna separate us. 
divide and conquer. There's that saying, divide and conquer. Not letting us connect with each other. In person to person. We gotta pick up the phone and make phone calls again instead of just texting all the time. We need to meet with people, talk to people, put the phones down as well. Let's move together now and fight this battle together. In the light, let's have the scale tip more and more as we pray. As we move forward, as we go outside, may the scale tip to more light each and every day as we get more people on the light and the darkness dissolves away. Out of the darkness comes the light, but we must all work together as one global force. Here in Egypt, signing out that Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings around the world.